The Princess and the Dragon, by Audrey Watt. Once there was a princess who didn't behave like a princess. The king and queen were shocked by her frightful manners. Her tangled hair and ragged clothes made her nanny cry. Don't touch me! I'm perfect. The cook, try as he might, could never serve a meal the princess liked. Spaghetti, or raw meatballs, and chocolate peanut butter cake. Throw it to the swan. No one ever saw her smile escaped when she played a mean trick on the old knight. Eat up your nice worm. All the mothers and fathers in the kingdom warned their children not to be like her. Never, never, don't act like her. She's a disgrace. Isn't she terrible? No, no, no. One day, a dragon was seen moving into a cave in the mountain. The mother and father were frightened and ran to the king and queen for help. The king and queen were worried too. It's green. It's big. It's hungry. Help! They knew that dragons like to kidnap princesses, but most upset of all was the old knight. As it was his job to protect the royal child. Oh my! It's come for our dear, our dear, oh me! The news gave the princess a main idea. Wouldn't it be jolly to watch the old knight fight the dragon? She would let the monster capture her. <laughs> That's night. While everyone was asleep, the princess. Tiptoed out and made her way up to the terrible creature's cave. Oh, but inside she found a dragon dying, playing a piano. The dragon was not at all what the princess expected. I'm the princess. Capture me! I wouldn't dream of it. The dragon was ex- equally surprised. The princess told dragons for fires. Don't dragons roar loudly? Chase knights and kidnap princess. The others do all don't like too, but this dragon was fires at all. The dragon that princess were gentle. Don't you take bullet, read good books, and wear lovely gowns? Not me. I hate it. But this princess wasn't gentle at all. The princess knew she could be a better dragon than the dragon. I sh- shake mountains with my roar. The dragon knew it could be a better princess than the princess. I studied a violin. Suddenly, they both have had an idea. They. They shook hands and agreed to change place that very night. I'll be the princess. Oh, and I will be the dragon. A basket, a basket, a green and yellow basket. Get going, Granny! This is my place now. And wasn't Nanny surprised the next morning? How lovely you look, princess! Why, thank you, Nanny dear. The dragon had put on a lovely blue gown. It could could it could sit sweetly and rubbed some powder for its nose. Good morning. Isn't it a lovely day? Please pass the batter. The king and queen were overjoyed at the chan- change. How polite! You are, are you are princess? What perfect manners, princess! The cook nearly dropped the dropped the eggs. Bad it when the 
bandit when the princess asked for more. Simply, Devon, may I have seconds, please? From the time on, life was much more pleasant. No one really minded the dragon's mean pranks. Roar! 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 No one, that is, escaped the knight who had to rescue the princess whenever the dragon captured her. After the dragon knights. The night always ended up being captured. Then I roar, mount and shake. I play violin with my eyes closed. Now all the mothers and fathers in the kingdom to told their children to behave like the princess, and of course they did that their best. But then they couldn't. They knew just the place to go. The end.